Hello and welcome to the Transient Analysis Circuit Lab How-To. First, we need a source, specifically a signal source. So select the voltage function generator, add to the circuit, right click, and edit parameters. Here you can change the name, the amplitude, the offset, the frequency, and the shape. We're going to go with a 1 volt amplitude, 1 volt offset, 1 kilohertz frequency sine wave and just hit enter once you're done and that sets it. Let's do one more useful thing though before we start graphing and add two nodes. One on either side of the component we're interested in. So once again right click edit parameters and just give them some simple names like A and B. Alright, now we're going to run a time domain simulation and we need to add an expression. So this is where the nodes come in handy. You just do V A minus V B. Enter. And Circuit Lab interprets that as the voltage at A minus the voltage at B. In other words, the voltage across this resistor. Now there's just two more new things we need to set before plotting. Stop time and the time step. Stop time is sort of an indirect measure of your horizontal scale. Circle Lab always divides your x-axis into 10 intervals from 0 to the stop time. So the formula for the correct stop time is 10 times the horizontal scale you want. For example, I want this graph to be plotted in milliseconds. So the stop time should be 10 times 1 millisecond or 1 hundredth of a second. Like so. Time skip is how frequently Circuit Lab calculates a point on the graph. Smaller time skip means a smoother curve, but it also increases your calculation time. Just make sure it's much smaller than your your stop time, otherwise your graph's going to be only a couple of points means instead of an actual sine curve. So now click run and there we go. You're graphing in Circuit Lab. Thank you and goodbye.